Hello and welcome to What The Head Crab, episode 17. Another action-packed show for you today, including Fast Detect, some exclusive images from Necrophobia Stories Lost Forest, very interesting update from Half Rats Parasomnia, the core's got a new image, plus a bunch of other stuff. There'll be a game giveaway courtesy of AA Ron from SteamContest.com, a trivia question, update on the Run Think Shoot Live site, and plenty more, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start with a roundup of last week. So here's the video from last week, last week's video, and uh, just looking at what people have said. So firstly, I was surprised at how many people didn't get the correct answer. It's funny that, because the previous question I thought was really hard, and like a lot of people got it, whereas I thought this week's question was, or last week's question, was a, a, a little bit easier, but not so many people got it. Anyway, let's talk about what people have said. So the Renegadist was talking about what, me wanting to show the images on ModDB, and I don't really understand that, because I do show the images, but uh, as Tyler C has said, basically this is a, a news roundup. I can't spend too long um, on each of those things. I'd like to spend more time talking about each mod, but really, 15 minutes is, is enough. I, I, you know, People don't really want that. So we're also talking about the Nazi salutes, which is in the modificated. They don't really want to get too much into detail there, but, but basically it's the context, and Bollocks is talking about the context, so he's quite right about that. Uh, we're talking about more hammer practice. Yes, there's lots of those coming soon. What else have we got going? Um, we've got... Um, Whoops, sorry. Lots of answers, lots of answers. Yep, plenty of answers. Um, Discord server, I'll be talking about that um, maybe the week after next. Um, got one of those going, but yep. Uh, and um, really, that's it. I can't really think, I can't really think that. That's it, that's it. Okay, on to all of the mods. So the first thing to talk about here is that um, we've got uh, Mr. Crowbar has released uh, a model, this is the Barra M82, and it replaces the crowbar in, uh, the crowbar, sorry, it replaces the crossbow in Half-Life. Now I haven't tested it, I'm, I mean if you're like one of those people that sort of always likes to change the models and things, this, this might be fun for you, so I don't know, maybe it only works in multiplayer, there's a lot of sort of stuff that's been released like that recently, but anyway. Next thing is Fast Detect. Now, Fast Detect is uh, telling everybody that they're releasing soon. I think, yeah, there we go, on the 25th of July. So, you know, that's um, that's next week, that's next Monday. I've contacted them to try and sort of talk about some things, but I haven't heard back. But I'm super excited about this, super excited. Um, it looks really good. Can't wait to play this. So, check it out. Abandon the town. All right, now he's looking for um, team members. I've interviewed him, so that's on my site as well. So if you want to listen to that, you can check that out. Very interesting video about the um, recoil. Actually, quite an interesting video. Much more interesting in, uh, video about the man hacks. Basically, the man hacks kind of are grenades as well, and they explode. So if you haven't killed them in time, uh, and then a slave enemy attacking you. So uh, it's pretty pretty clever here. Um, that's that's going to be fun. So we've got some stuff going on here. Now, um, he's going to expand it as well, so he's going to maybe make some more levels. So he's, um, what he's been doing is he's been basically, he's made, he's made changes to the gameplay, and I found them quite interesting, and uh, he wants to extend that in the sense of making a much bigger mod with it. So he's looking for team members. I had a lot of fun with this. I reckon you should check it out too. All right, now, Outlands. I mentioned it last week. It's just been released. Oh, sorry, it's just been announced, but now it's dead. All right, that's it. So within the space of a week, it's gone from wow to oh, so gone. Just it's pretty annoying. I, I don't really know why people sort of start something within a few days and then stop it. All right, fine. All right. So necrophobia lost. Uh, necrophobia stories lost forest. I've got some uh, screenshots that I'm going to show you. Um, and uh, in fact, let's let's do that now. Let's get straight into that. So here we go. And we got episode 17. Boom. There we go. We're just going to go full screen. So these are exclusive screenshots. So it's looking good. It's looking interesting. Very artistic one there. Uh, interesting lighting there. Normally it's too dark, but I quite like the lighting there. It's, it doesn't look too dark. And then down the bottom, it's pretty dark down the bottom. And there we go. We're back. We're back to where we started. So that's it. So. Boom, up there, uh, here, 
All right, so check them out. They're working hard. Next up is Modificated. Okay, so I've got to mention here, because I called him colorblind like last time. Um, he mentions it there. So um, that's quite funny. It's good that he's taking it in, all, in, you know, in joking. Now, of course, they've got 10,000 images. And uh, let's get straight into those, shall we? All right, so here we go. Woo! All right, so got the Nazis. We're just going to scroll through these really quickly. Remember, this is a new show. We're not going to go into depth into anything. Um, I'm just doing it here because it's much easier for you to see than if I tried to do it on ModDB. So, oh, look, how can you not be colorblind with these colors? All right, so pinks and blues and oranges and greens and oh my goodness. All right, look, so that was pretty interesting. Look, we've got a brain up there. I quite like that. So you can't fault them for working hard. Um, again, the blues and the yellows. Oh my goodness. So remember, big head on there. This is a new show. I'm not going into detail of anything. So that's it. Right, now, uh, Half-Life 2 Enhanced. Uh, basically, he's made some changes, and he's um, he's pretty happy that he's on Wikipedia, so well done for doing that. Uh, he's got some music, which bothers me a little bit, because this looks like it's just um, private music. I don't know if he's got permission. And the bad news about this is, is that anybody who streams his mods, um, you get a copyright problem. So if you want to do this, you really should just use music that's freely available. In addition, he's decided that what he's going to do is, uh, because he's changed the gameplay a little bit like Abandoned, the town, he's going to make like a, a new story and he's going to make some new maps and all of those kind of things. So, okay, good luck to him. So follow that if you're interested. All right, now, I suppose this is the most interesting news. We've got uh, a couple of things from Parasomnia. The first thing we got is a trailer, and it starts all like all gentle, and then it changes. But you'll have to watch it yourself. So I recommend watching that. He's got a Patreon page, so if you want to support him, I uh, you know do that. I think he's got his amounts like crazy because he's got to remember that these are, are like every month. I, I can't believe that somebody's um, gonna give five hundred dollars a month. But maybe he's he's lucky. But I think he needs to, Mr. Halfrax, I think you need to rethink your um, amounts here. Remember, the price that you've got is every month. So if you go from 10 to 20, you know, it's another $120 a year. It's a lot of money. Anyway, so I've got a bunch of screenshots uh, for that one as well. I haven't really done this very organized. My apologies. All right, here we go. All stolen from the uh, ModDB page, the Facebook page, the, his hard drive. I've hacked into his hard drive. Um, so they're from all over the place. That looks pretty spooky. There he is, Mr. Half Rats. And there we go. So, again, it's a news. We're not analysing every single image. That looks, but I have to say, that looks pretty scary. If I woke up in that bedroom, I'd be pretty scared. Um, and there he is on his horse. Um, ooh. And then we go back to the beginning. Now, one last thing with um, this particular, where are we? Uh, here. Uh, one last thing. There is a great video about Half Cat. So we got Half Rat and we got his best friend, Half Cat. No, it's not, it's not his best friend. But Half Cat is a new enemy and it's a cat that attacks the zombies. Now, it's done here in, in, uh, in Black Mesa, but it's going to be in the game. And it's pretty cool. It's like this standing on top of him in a cat's trying to attack him. So that's pretty clever. He's, they got, those, those guys are working so hard, you really have to go and support them. So check them out. All right, what's next? Base defense. Now, this is quite an interesting video. Basically, Base Defense was released a while ago, and I've mentioned it a few times, but what you can do is you can upgrade your weapons, and there's quite an interesting video um, um, showing, showing you that actual process. And what, is quite, what I find interesting, besides the upgrades, is that each time that you hit the enemy, you get a number, which is the amount of damage you've done, I suppose. Uh, and in this case, the zombie's got 4,000 damage. I I'm guessing that that's to make sure that you know you can see all of the features instead of having a, a zombie die all the time. But that's pretty cool. It's good that they're working. And while we're talking about this, don't you think that the Half-Life community, the gold source community, is so much more in, not inventive, because that's like the wrong word, or creative, but they seem to be doing so much more. When you look at what's been happening with episode two or source mods, yeah, there are people working on some new aspects, but most of the time they're just building new things. But here they're constantly adapting. I find that so cool considering the game is so old. So good luck or well done, all of the Gold Source community. And uh, the last one is the core. Now the core has released one new image. The core is going perhaps the most anticipated um, Half-Life based Gold Source mod and we've got an image for that as well. So we can here, we can jump, jump back. Um, 
here it is and it's the green room and it's beautiful and I have to I laugh when I saw this I thought it was an ant pump but only the ants that are cool could use the cool ant pump and it took me a second to realize that it was like a coolant not a cool ant pump so sometimes you're stupid now what I do like about this image very quickly is I like how you've, you kind of use the buttons at the top uh, to be um, like a sign whether the door's locked or not and that's always interesting to see how people have reused things and just have to jump back into the images again because what one thing I didn't show you was the images that uh, Fast Detect have released and here we are so we're jumping back there and there's another one which is like great lighting um, so so excited for this next week uh, and that's it no more mods to talk about Time for the miscellaneous section. So first up here is we've got Anti Trooper 1, a Half-Life mini-series teaser. So this is a short video, 35 seconds. I won't play it within my video, um, but this looks interesting. Um, I would suggest watching it yourself. Um, it's always nice to see those uh, kind of things being made. So good luck to those guys and uh, check it out. Next one is, whoops, should have been at the top, is another Indiegogo. Now, are we going to start seeing lots of things? So what we've got here is we've got something called Zombie Escape. Um, now, they're using the um, Source Engine, but it's not related to Half-Life in the sense that uh, it's not part of the story, or at least I didn't get that from what I read anyway. Um, so I got the idea that it's going to be single player, but... Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, so we'll we'll need to sort of follow it. Anyway, they're only asking for five thousand dollars compared to like you know hunt down the, the Freeman, which is like a hundred grand. So if you're interested in this, give it a look. Uh, there's a video and some stuff. So you know it's always good to see people making these kind of things. Uh, in fact, it's going to be player versus player fashion. So it's not going to be multiplayer. Uh, it's not going to be single player. So I won't be covering this anymore. Um, but you still might be interested. So check that out. All right, Brain Bread 2. Brain Bread 2 is going to be released on the 25th of July. And we're going to, we're going to, we're going to ignore the uh, phone. Absolutely, we're going to have to ignore the phone. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, I'm going to be doing a What the Head Crab special for this and playing through it and seeing if, I, um, seeing if I enjoy it. If you've been following it, then you're probably pretty excited about this. So it's only a few days away. What's today's date? The 18th. So it's like a week, a week, next week. Okay, fantastic. So Brain Bread 2, a remake, really, of an original um, mod back in the day. Crikey, does anybody remember that? What's next? All right, sorry, but I'm going to say more now. But... Um, Another stupid uh, article from Half-Life 3, from Rolling Stones, uh, Rolling Stone magazine. Uh, maybe because we're interested in it, it sounds silly, but, you know, it's one of these things for people who have never heard of it. But there's this great quote down here that I really thought was really funny, which is, um, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going to find it, we're going to find it, going to find it. Okay, so... Um, it, this is Glenn, Glenn from Valve Time. I've known Glenn for a number of years now. It was a turning point uh, for a generation, he adds, noting that Valve was able to integrate technology, technological innovations like never-before-seen systems with sophisticated narrative gameplay, complete with voice acting. Now, I'm not laughing at Glenn for saying that. I'm just laughing at the way they said it, as if voice acting was just unbelievable at the time. So, well done, Rolling Stone magazine, for being right on the forefront of explaining everything to gamers. Yes. Next up, Valve's new store has opened and you get 10% off if you join. So why wouldn't you do that? Now I'm seriously thinking, should I, should I, I'll do it live. Why don't I do it live? Look, there we go. Look, I'll do it live on the show. I'm going to join the mailing list. Boom. Thanks. Oh, God, now everybody's got my code. Well, probably everybody gets that code, so it probably doesn't matter too much anyway, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so so that's that. Let me, I better copy that for later. All right, so I've been thinking of buying one of these. They're back, sort of back in stock, um, and I've got like the little, the little ones. That I'll be giving away for the Hammer Cup, but I'm assuming that these are like big ones. These ones that sit on your head. They don't look as good as the original, though. So if you've got an original one, um, send me a picture. What's next? All right, so here we go. We've got um, an interview with Mother Sheep. He of those Half Quake. Oh, 
half quake mods, craggy. All right, he's interviewing the programmer from Spirit of Half Life. So if you're like a, a modder, you'll probably find this really interesting. I haven't read it yet, but I will. But I'm scared that I'm not going to understand some of those things because I'm just a new modder. But if you're a modder, then you might really, um, really enjoy that. Here we go. Right. So now this is in the miscellaneous section because it's not a mod. This is um, an editor, and Jackhammer has been renamed to J A C K, um, and it uh, does Half Life. I haven't used it because Don told me use hammer, so I'm using hammer. Maybe one day I'll experiment. All right. So if you're again, if you're into modding, this will be pretty interesting for you. Um, I haven't read all of it because I wouldn't. I don't really want to get involved in learning editors when I'm still learning how to map so that's maybe for another time for me alright so some idiot posted on the Half-Life Reddit about you know one of these stupid memes uh, how do Half-Life fans showers well there you go you got it there and it was quite funny for a few days tweet of the day for a couple of people so if you're sort of interested in the silly things you can check that out alright now I just learnt about this a few minutes before um, uh, starting this recording which is Steam services status oh, a bit of a flash there, I don't know what that was um, maybe that was updating the page. So I was complaining a, a little while ago, yesterday sometime, about not being able to uh, log on to Steam, and maybe this was the problem. There was kind of a, like a, uh, a thing here. So this is pretty pretty clever. If you're interested in stats uh, about what's happening, uh, low load, and all of those kind of things. All right. Now while we're talking about interesting websites, I'm going to do a little bit of a plug for one of my sections on the site, which is the Half-Life Links section. Now you get to it by going to Home and then Links, and this is the page. Now I haven't covered it in the you know the um, the next section, which is what's been happening on Run Think Shoot Live, because this is just like a standard thing. So if you're looking for other websites, I've got a huge list here. Some of them might have closed by now. Hopefully not. There's especially a nice section on the non-English ones, and then there's a bunch of sections on the uh, Steam-related ones, like Steam Calculator and look at how much your, all of your games are, and Steam sale prices and all those kind of things. And then there's the official ones there. I'll be adding to the, this uh, status one to this particular uh, page in the Steam-related sections. So that's it. If you're looking for new websites, go check them out. But why would you? Because you've got me. You don't need anything else for Half-Life. Next section. What's been happening on Run Think Shoot Live this week? Well, calm down. I'm going to tell you. First thing in reverse chronological order is we've had a new release. It's called Absolution, and here it is. You can see it here. And let me scroll, scroll down a bit. Um, plenty of thank yous. So the author, bad piece. Um, he's been thanking everybody. You can download it directly into Gage. If you do that, you'll need to choose the Absolution map, not the Absolution end map. Do that, or you can manually install it. Why would you? Okay, so video coming soon. There's some screenshots, um, a couple of reviews. In fact, three reviews. Uh, maybe from me. A play it later from Crowbar, and another maybe from Dolmo. So there we go. That's what's been released this week. And also, we have... Poll question 355, would you play Half-Life Go? Now, if you haven't been living in a normal society and you've been in the mountains, you wouldn't have heard of it. But Pokemon Go has been, like, huge. Just have to look everywhere. So the idea was, well, what would you do if there was, like, a Half-Life Go? Let's have a quick look at the uh, results. Um, it was pretty even. Maybe, baby, like 30 votes. Heck no, which was me. And then, yes, definitely. So quite an interesting split there. So that's quite interesting. So that's what's been happening this um, this week on Run Think Shoot Live. Nothing else. This week's Half Life trivia law Half Life law trivia question. <laughs> okay, we know that Black Mesa is based in New Mexico, uh, but where are the HECU based, the Hazardous Environments Combat Unit? If you know, post your answer as a YouTube comment. It's just for fun. If you don't know, but you want to find out, check out um, Combine Over Wiki. All of the answers you can be f uh, can be found here for all sorts of questions. Very interesting read. So that's it for this week's trivia question. Time for the giveaway. So here's how it works. What I do is I load in last week's video, and then uh, I load the comments. Okay, there we go. 66 comments. Um, 
In fact, it says comets. I've only noticed that. That's not my fault, though. Um, so what I do now is I click the pick random winner. And basically, if you've made a comment last week, then you've got a chance to win the game. And the game this week is Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, courtesy of AA Ron from SteamContests.com. Now, if it randomly picks me, I will just pick it again. So here we go. Fingers crossed it's you. And strike von nice, he wins the game. So I'll be in contact with him or her, and he wins the game. So that's it for the giveaway. And there we go, another show finished. I hope you um, enjoy them. I hope you like all of the mods and all of the work that people are putting in. Big thank you to the community for doing uh, all of that and working so hard. If you like what I'm doing, uh, please consider supporting me on Patreon. If you don't want to make a, a monthly um, contribution pledge, you can consider donating directly via PayPal. All the money goes back into the site. I'm hoping one day to actually make this a part-time job for me so I can keep you updated and make more videos and release more things. Um, please rate this video if you like it. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. But tell me why so I can improve it. Please share it so you know. tell all your friends about it and consider embedding it and definitely think about subscribing. It's free and you get to hear about all of the uh, latest videos straight away. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Remember, finishing Half-Life is just the beginning. See ya!